Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to enable the developer uh, commands. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, so today, as mentioned, I'm going to go over the developer commands, uh, What, how to enable them, essentially. Um, this is for PC players only. You can't do this on console. Um, this isn't a mod, so I'm going to show you right now. If I go to mods here, I have I have nothing installed other than just the DLCs, which those don't do anything close to this, which you'll know by now. Uh, I'm going to go into here. I'm just going to run new farmer. doesn't matter on Fels Burner Work. Where, why not? It doesn't matter. But as you see, these are all the mods I got. If I start the game up here, I just want to give you guys a couple examples. The two things I use most on the developer commands, there's lots of different stuff. They're enabled on this computer. It's something you do in the actual XML of the game, which I'm going to show you how to do in just a second, but I'm going to show you why you might want to do it here um, in a minute. So, and this won't necessarily be something that you're going to use as much on base game maps as you will on other maps, but I just want to demonstrate it on here. So, um, yeah, we'll get this loaded up here. Shouldn't take it too long. There's no mods so, <laughs> other than just the DLC. So here we go. And I've been using this since I figured, found out about it and was able to get it all working right. And it's not that hard to do. It's just you have to know what you're doing. So new fire mode. Now, if I come over here, I should be able to hit F4 and I can see now this underlay of the, the area below me. So now I can see what's going on around. I can kind of see into stuff. Um, it kind of makes it into a grid format, which why would you want to do this? Well, I turn this map off, get that out of the way. The big thing is for trees. So for example, if I cut down this tree here and then I think I removed the stump, but there's still some issues. You can actually see under there. So this works really well in forestry maps to be able to see if there's any stumps or anything underground um, that you're missing and where to find them and how to get them out of the ground and stuff like that. So uh, sometimes you have to landscape and do all that different stuff to get them. But at the same time, you're able to find them instead of just trying to guess and check um, with this, especially if you're on a forestry map and you've cut down a hundred trees and you have no idea where there's an issue or anything like that and you're trying to farm. Um, this is a really great tool. Now, the other thing, if I hit F2, I can open up up there in the upper right-hand corner. I can see how many frames per second we're running that. Um, F1, that's just your help menu. F3, I believe, does something. Maybe not. F5 um, adds a couple of different options there for different development things that I don't even know what they're going to do, but that's what it'll do as well. Um, so there you go. There's that. F6, F7, F8 does. Uh, yeah, there we go. F8 will pull up some different stats for you. Um, yep, it'll show you off some different stuff for you. So that's that's what it'll do if you have it on. So there's some other things too, but that's the main reason you want it on. So let's go ahead and jump in how to actually get that to work. All right, so here you see my screen. Um, I'm gonna pull something up there in a second. So um, let me make sure there's nothing on here that should be not available for you guys to see. There we go. So I'm gonna pull up just a document browser here. So I'm gonna go to my games, which is where everything I have is gonna be. I go under here, um, under my games, and I go to Farming Simulator 19. Oops, not that. Farming Simulator 19 actually selected. Go in here. I should be able to find under here um, game.xml right there. So that's an XML document game. I'm going to click that. It's going to ask me, it's giving me this on my other screen, what I want to open it with. I'm just going to open it with uh, WordPad. It doesn't really matter what you open it with, but. Um, if I move it over here now, this is what's going to open up. So now what I'm looking for, um, I'm looking for develop, development mode. So um, let's go down here. Yep, here we go. Development, right down here at the bottom, you see development, controls, true. So that's what you need to change there. This will say, this will say false in here when you load up, um, if you haven't enabled this before. So you just want to go in here, change this false to true. That's all you got to do is hit true. And then I'm um, up here, file save you want to save you don't want to save as and save it as something different you want to overwrite the previous file and make sure this is saved in its place so now that that's saved in there and i x out i will be able to actually open up the game it's all saved in there and now if i go in here it's going to open up um if i open up a notepad now it doesn't matter what you open it up in um down at the very bottom it's still true in there so you want to make sure that's the case um because if you just change this let's say it was on false or it was on you know anything else and i just change it to true and then i just exit out it's gonna ask me this, and if I say don't save or I don't save it, if I open back up here, um, open it back up in Notepad here, go down to the bottom, it's still gonna say true in there, so I still have to adjust that. So you're gonna to wanna to change that to true, right down there, right in between those, don't change anything else, just switch out true for false. Um, this isn't that big of a document, there's not a lot of info in there, so that's what you wanna do. Um, and after that's done, then you should be basically just good to go at that point. So um, if you change the game XML to that, 
you're good to go. And then you'll have those different abilities. And again, it's F4 to be able to look underground and F2 is FPS, the frames per second to be able to pull that up. So there you guys go. Hopefully that helps you. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.